let's set up a queue management system with the Ultra Lake Yolo 11 model. This is a project that we can set up with Ultra Lake solutions. All we need to do is have the Yolo model running. We need to do update detection. We also need to track over time. Then we can do region based counting so we can basically just create a queue management system. We can see how many people are waiting in the queue. You can expand on that, go in and calculate how long is the wait times, how long is the queue and all that. Then you can redirect to other queues, could for example be airport security. You've probably been to some airports where they already have some counting system up and running where they basically just redirect you to other security checks if there's too many people. But let's just jump straight into the alternative website here. I'm going to show you how we can set this project up, run through some video examples and basically just how we can create projects with the Autolytics solutions. So first of all here, let's just go inside the documentation. We have all these different guides, integration, solutions, directly out of the box that you can use. It's basically just copy paste, tailor to your own applications and projects that you're doing and you have a computer vision system up and running. So let's go inside the solutions tab here. We have pretty much videos covering all of it, both with the YOLO V8 model, the new YOLO 11 for faster inference speed, but also better model predictions. Optic counting, optic cropping, optic blurring, all these things can be used directly out of the box. Security alarm system, so these are more solutions-based, project-based systems that you can have up and running. So let's go inside the queue management here. We already have a video covering how to set it up, how to use it with the YOLO V8 model. But now let's do it with the YOLO 11 and create some different videos where we go through the tracking count in different regions and so on for airport security. So advantages of queue management systems, reduce waiting times. You can calculate the waiting times, redirect people to other queues as well, increasing efficiency, real-time insights. You can run this pretty much in any hardware, real time, and you're good to go. You just need to hook it up to your cameras. Enhanced customer experience. Here we see some examples in retail. Could be for metro stations. Here we have logistics in airport, ticket counters when you check in. Could be at the airport security and so on. So you can run it directly out of the box with the CLI. Command line is just a single command and you have it running on your own custom video, you just need to specify the regions where you want to define where are the actual queue and you can also define multiple queues so you can then redirect your traffic. We also have the Python script. I'm going to grab this one here and show you how we can set it up in our own local environment and computer. So all we have to do is pretty much just set up a video capture. I'm going to use a video as an example here. You can connect it to a webcam if you have, CCTV camera, any network camera and so on, and you have the system running. Then we just need to define our region points. You can have multiple again, it's just polygon points. We want to keep track of people, so both do update detection and also track them over time, over a number of frames. This is to reduce double detections, because if we just only do update detection, we don't really know how many are in the zone, if they're going in and out of the zone, so it's way more reliable we reduce double countings or even like just doing multiple countings of the same person. So we detect how many people are inside the zone and how many people are going outside. Could be used for line crossings as well as how many people are actually going through the security and all that. All these solutions can be used for exactly that. We have the arguments, we just have the model and also the region. That's pretty much it. You can set up some tracking arguments, what tracker you want to use, the confidence score in the section of a union, the classes. If you're just using a base model, you can use the person, like vehicles could also be used for traffic monitoring. You can also just drop in your own custom trained models, have tons of videos on the channel covering how you can train your own models, set up the whole computer vision pipeline, all the way from data set, annotation, how to train it, run inference, optimize it for running in the real world, in real use cases. So yeah, you can go through the documentation here. This is pretty much just everything that we need. Let's now jump into my code editor. I've just copy pasted the code. That's all I've done here. We already have the terminal running. So what we need to do here is just go in and grab a video. I have this queue management video. We can just take a look at it. I'm gonna grab the relative path and then we can see these people here walking at the airport security before scanning the backs. And then we can track how many people are in this queue. 
and we could do something similar with this queue over here to to the left if you have a CCTV camera further away you can capture multiple queues another very cool one it doesn't have to be a queue it's basically just a region based counter where we count how many are in a specific region this could also be used for traffic monitoring where you have multiple different lanes how many cars are in this lane or another lane for example at a, at a traffic light or an intersection so i grab the video path we can close this one here i'm just going to paste it in here and this is everything that you have to do no matter what solution you're using from Autolytics, it's basically just a few copy paste tailored to your specific video use cases and you have it up and running it runs real time. You can use your own models. Right now, we're just going to use the YOLO 11 nano base model. We want to show the results. This is our region that we want to count. Let's just try to see what the region is defined as now. You need to go in and fine tune that for the specific video that you are running on. Then we just have our video capture. We load in a frame, throw it through our crew management um, object that we're creating up here throw through the image, we get the results, we write our results with our image to a video writer, so we save our frames into a video file as well. That's everything that we have to do. So this is 20 lines of code, and we have a computer vision solution up and running. So all we have to do now, is just go down Python Q management, let's take a look at where we have our points defined. There we go. So we have a very small region here, we definitely need more in the y direction so we should have lower y values it will start up here so our 0, 0.0 is in the top left corner so we probably need around depends on the image resolution i'll just show you like step by step how i usually do it you can also do it with a mouse based tool or whatever grab a frame just make sure that it is with respect to your image resolution and 0, 0.0 is up here in the tip top left corner so it's probably okay we have our bottom points down here at the bottom you could probably get it a bit further down so we just need to increase and decrease our y value so we have our x value we have our y value so this is the first ones let's just try to get this lower to maybe 100 we need to unwind for the other to be 100 as well we can rerun it and then you'll just do a few iterations unless you use a mouse tool so now we can see we got the better region here we can probably just move it a bit further down or skip the queue here on the right side so we can probably just lower it a bit more here. Let's get it down as well. So let's maybe go 200 here, 200. And then the other one, let's move it a bit further down. So we get this object, depending on where you define the counters down from, if it's the bottom of a person, or usually you use the center of your detections. So 200, 200, we have 400. Let's try to go to 500. And we go to 500 here as well. And then I think it was moved a bit too much in the X direction. So that is the high values we need to look at here. So maybe not this one. Let's maybe just try 800. You need to modify this to 800 as well. Then you just do a few iterations. Now we can see it's significantly better. Maybe we can still reduce our X here a bit more. So this is the image width divided by two. 800, let's just go 600. And here we go, need to go 600 as well. And now I think we should have a, a way better zone for a queue management system. So now we have detections here, one, two, three, four, five. We also get some detections over here on the, on the, on the left side. So we could probably still put it a bit down, but these queues are also relatively close to each other. So here we get this person in the background as well. He's just standing here roaming around. So now we have four or five people. That's pretty, pretty much correct. We have this guy, and then we have the three here waiting in the queue. Now we have three people, two people. So if we just expand this queue value here, we can just do that to end the video. But here, again, 50. Here we can go 50 as well. And in just a few minutes, you have corrected your zone. So now we shouldn't get this guy here. Maybe he's still on the boundary. Go back, set it to 100. That should be pretty much perfect. There we go rerun it and now i think this guy here roaming around in the background is removed we get this guy here but we still also need to keep track of oh i was almost tripping here so we could maybe also put a fall detector on where you can use the yolo host estimation models but yeah here we can see three persons four persons in the queue 
this is how easy it is to set up. Go in and check it out, test it out on your own videos, find some CCTV footage cameras at airports, retail stores or whatever, set it up, it's 20 lines of code, no excuses. And then let us know down in the comments if you have any other cool use cases. But with Ultralytic Solutions, you can set it up in just a few minutes. Hope you learned a ton. Definitely try it out yourself. And then I'll just see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy learning.